ready for the return. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Ready for the return. The Bible reports at least of two humans who have been moved by the Spirit towards heaven without their bodies being laid into the grave. One is Elijah, one is Enoch. How that works, we can guess, but we cannot really understand it. Much more important is that we get ready ourselves, that we live every day together with the Lord as close as we can, that we bring all our matters, all our emotions to him, all our desires, everything in prayer, and that we let God guide us that we give him room and space and silence that God may talk to us in his word and also by our circumstances that God may talk to us and may guide us, that his Holy Spirit may guide us towards his kingdom. How that all works, we can guess, but our human brains, we cannot fully understand that. Some of what we know is given, for example, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15. What we are teaching you now is the Lord's teaching. We who are alive on the day the Lord comes will not go ahead of those who have died. There will be the shout of command, the archangel's voice, the sound of God's trumpet, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died believing in Christ will rise to life first. Then we who are living at that time will be gathered up along with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be always with the Lord. So then encourage one another with these words. Big encouragement. If heaven is our home, is it? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for these great promises that we can expect to come home, to finally have rest and peace, to live in your kingdom where your holiness, your goodness, your love reigns, where there is no more evil, no more stealing and hatred of the people, no more need for any safety checks and measures because everybody does good to each other and helps each other. We do not understand how it all works, how it connects, and how is the passing from this life to another one. You know everything. Most of all, we pray that you help us to get prepared, to walk towards your kingdom, that every day we come one day closer to your kingdom that you guide us, that you fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to focus on what we can do and help us to remain in close contact with you. To you be all praise and glory and honor forever. Amen.